Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do my second update to a collab that I'm doing with a bunch of ladies. You probably know them all if you have watched my channel because I have collabed with them before a lot of times actually. And the ladies and me, we have uh, come up with this... No, that's, that's a lie. It's Amanda and Jessica. <laughs> Amanda and Jessica have come up with this uh, collab and she invited me and some other ladies and I'm really really excited and it is called Single Ladies and My Man Matt. This is a project without an end date. Yeah, it basically ends when we don't have any mats left in our collection I believe. For the single ladies we were supposed to choose four single shadows. So you can choose some that was in individual packaging or just a magnetic pan you could put in a, a ma magnetic palette. I can't talk. Okay, uh, I, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know the word in English. So yeah, I chose these four shadows and I will of course uh, talk a little bit about them with you guys. The one I have used the most is this Essence eyeshadow single. The, the name is rubbing off but it is Essence right there. And this is called Snowflake. This is a beautiful icy white shadow. I love this for my inner corner. I can use it as a highlighter as well because I'm pale AF. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely have a dip in this shadow as you can see there. I'm so so excited. And um, in this project we can either hit pan and then roll in something new or finish it. I don't know what I want yet but I will try my best just to hit pan on stuff and then from there I think I will rotate them to, to it again and then finish them up. So the next eyeshadow is a Kigo. Um, Makeup Milano eyeshadow and this is called 139. I have used this quite a bit on my lid on top of a cream base and it is beautiful. I have been really really enjoying the more simple looks with a pop of color. And this shadow is definitely a good one. I have used it mostly on my finger and then patted on the cream shadow. Uh, because sometimes I don't think my brush pick it up. and. I know it's pretty when it's wet, but I really enjoy using my finger and then pat it on. And yeah, there's a dip and the Kigo name is rubbing off. So that is really, really exciting, I think. The next two shadows is also from Kiko and this one is a, a newer version of the one I just showed you and this is, um, they are called high pigments, uh, so it's kind of a pressed pigment. This is in 18, so this is a goldy shade, the other one was a rose gold champagne shade. So you can see the wear there, but I don't know, can you see the dip? Is that a shadow for the dip? I don't know. But I have used this quite a bit as well. and. Yeah, I can see the dip forming and I'm really excited. I love this shade. This is so, so beautiful if you love gold shadow. And I don't know how many times I have used this. I maybe used it on my lower lash line a few times, but I have been focusing on the other three. So this is a purple shade and it is called 50, yeah, 54. They don't have names. I don't care. Um, so yeah, I have the same kind of dip, but it's not as big and as the other one. But yeah, it is a beautiful shadow. For my man mat, we were supposed to pick an all matte palette. And I was crazy and I chose my Morphe 
35 OM palette. Some of the other ladies chose uh, Mad Shadows in a palette and uh, an Elf palette. And those are not very big, so <laughs> yeah. And I chose my Morphe palette because these this is one of my older matte palettes. And I really wanted to use it this year, so yeah, it is speeding up, obviously. But I will insert a picture from where I was last time, so you can see kind of the comparison. I don't have any pain or anything, so it's kind of boring. <laughs> this is where I am. There are dips forming, and I'm really, really excited about it. Again, last time I was kind of bummed I, bummed I didn't have any pan. I was sure I could hit some pan this month, but uh, honestly, I haven't worn uh, that much makeup. Um, obviously, enough for me to hit pan on my panda palette, but of course not in this, not in this one. Five shadows that I have been working on only in this palette for the last month since last update is this row right here. And I thought it was a good idea to choose a row instead of random shadows in the palette so you can kind of remember what you are working on. I have been using this for setting my eye primer quite a bit. You can see a dip there, a transition color, and a crease shade. You can see the dip. Exciting. And then out of the colors right here. I have considered using these in my brows. I actually think my hair color will approve that kind of shade and they are kind of cooler as well. So I thought hitting pan would be nice with me using it in my brows. Sometimes they can look kind of, mud kind of muddy on my eyes so that's why I, I don't use it as much right now. And I don't think a cool toned brown would look that great in this. I look so it's kind of hard to incorporate these very brown shadows into something this colorful as my panda palette um, but yeah this is where I am I have some holes in different shadows that is a so Eva brush that I'm using I told you guys that last time but whatever That is where I am with my shadows and I'm really excited for this project even though I don't have the most and best amount of progress I am so much enjoying my makeup this year and it's a blast putting it on every single time so I'm very very happy so yeah that is everything with this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a like subscribe down below and to my channel and the other ladies channels you will love them if you don't follow them already and i do a lot of pretty pants on my channel and shop my stash and i just really really love to have get use out of my collection that is why i do all of these pretty pants so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video please take care bye